is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I believe we have uh, Joe DiNapoli on the line today, but he's having slight technical difficulties. Is that correct, Bubba? Well, um, <clears throat> you know, last time I couldn't hear you at all. This time I can hear your velvet voice. Last time oh, yeah. we had screen yeah. sharing, and now we don't have screen sharing. Uh, hopefully we'll get that done. Uh, you can talk to us about some of these things, though, anyway, can't you, partner? Well, I can talk to you, but, you know, you want to eat spaghetti without gravy? I mean, this is crazy. Yeah. we got to have a screen share or it's pointless. Yeah. i got great charts for you. We're at a very uh -huh. critical place in the S&P and the NASDAQ. Are, yeah, we are, yeah. What about the— You know, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, serious, i got the exact numbers. None of it's going to make sense without charts. So if we can't solve this, adios, my friend. Well, let's don't adios yet. Let's give it a shot. Uh, Al, uh, he'll try to help you. Why don't I'll do some talking while you try to get it fixed. How's that, Joe? Well, that's great with me. Um, I've got my screen sharing set up, so. Uh, all right, we'll try it. We'll try it again. The rest here. is up to uh, you guys. Uh, we're going to do our very best. That's what we're going to do here. Uh, okay. okay, folks. Uh, Joe, I'll just go ahead and talk about some of the markets here. You know, we're at real critical levels here, folks. Uh, if we go below that 44 uh, 35 again today. That is the 61% retracement of that whole move. After a big move up to the 382, that is not very good. We're trading at uh, 44.51. I heard last, so we'll see uh, what's going on. Uh, you know, with that as we look at some of these other things uh, here unfolding here, here today. So uh, we're going to be watching it very, very closely as always. But with the fact that Apple was able to only be down about 3%, and the Dow Jones rally 150 points to me was a, uh, it was actually a really big, uh, big deal. That's, uh, that's what I can possibly say to that is really, really totally amazing. Uh, excuse me, folks, my, my limit minders are going off on so darn many things right now that I have to have positions in. And if you're going to give me a second here, uh, I will get this fixed, and then we'll uh, try to get it done. And Joe, cut in any time if you think you got these things set up, because uh, I would certainly want to see these. And if we don't, we will get it ready for you uh, as soon as we get another time here to uh, to to, able to do this, because uh, the work you have is just uh, is nothing short of spectacular. Because I've been watching it since 1968, Bubba, as I recall, up there in the McCulloch Oil Building, and it was. Uh... Okay, hold on, I got to put that in there. Okay, just a second here. The, the way uh, we're sitting right now, Larry, is I'm waiting for you guys to uh, connect up, and uh, you guys are waiting shit. for me to connect up. So okay. We're now nowhere. I have, yeah, well, <laughs> the problem is I, I got a slight problem here, and I don't know what the problem is. Let me see. No, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. What's he talking about? They don't know what, the, they don't know what he's talking about here. So what? Uh, Uh, at least we connected God this time. Damn it. Last time I tell you, I, I don't understand this. <laughs> you know, Joe, you know, yeah. we've been friends for so long, it's even hard to remember. But, you know, my problem with this stuff is technical. You know, when we did this stuff, we, we, we had a Reuters machine. We didn't have the computers. As a matter of fact, people don't know this about you. Is you were one of the – you were. You and CompuTrack were the very first people – and what was the name of that uh, that little computer that you had that brought out the, the all that stuff, Joe? What was the name of that? Well, that was a, on the old QX10. Had a 12-inch screen and yeah. only green yeah. green monitors, yeah. and and we thought we had the best system on earth when we managed to get four 12-inch monitors, giving us yeah. live quotes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. for your listeners, uh, the, your listeners probably yeah. don't know what a clatterboard is. You and I do. I mean, when I first started trading commodities, we're going back to 1982 on commodities. I've been trading stocks since '67, actively, but we just had uh, we just had uh, a clatterboard, which is yeah. you know, 
flap, 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 the little things. You know, they still have that. I was at the, I think it was at the Merck in one of their meeting rooms. They have those old clatterboards, and uh, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah, my friend Dennis Dennis uh, O'Shaughnessy had one of those put in his den so that it would hit hit the high and low <laughs> would click. Yeah, he, he bought the whole board and. Uh, it was really good. You also remember we, whenever we wanted an interday chart, it was twenty dollars at, at the. And we had the ADP automatic data processing machine there at uh, Conti, and if you wanted a chart on pork bellies or corn interday, you could get it. But it was twenty dollars for one chart, and uh, and they and, and the, the machine was busy all day long. I remember that uh, going on. Larry, for, I for I was sitting I was sitting at uh, a commodity place in Newport Beach. And the brokers and I was I had graph paper you know, and it had the little blue lines on it, yeah. And I I I do a five minute chart and put little X's to where the uh, to where the uh, you know price action would go. And I would sit there all day long and I'd make my own charts sitting there watching this stuff on the brokerage. I mean, you know, the, the changes are just incredible. They're amazing. And for a while, it really worked out good. And then. Um, and then, of course, this algorithmic trading started in earnest in um, in March of 2009, and we had to, you know, we had to accommodate for that. I don't think we're getting anywhere here, Larry. I mean, I I'm yeah. not hearing anything from Al. I'm still sharing, yeah. and they Man, don't see talk, us. Let's talk the only thing the I can things. think of doing is is going off and coming back on and seeing if it works any better. But I don't think it yeah. will. Well, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you do that? You got five. You got seven minutes to do it. Why don't you try it again, and then we'll get back to you and, and stay on because we'll talk about the old days. These people don't realize that when you have two dinosaurs in the room, you know, ty <laughs> two Tyrannosaurus Rex, they ought to listen to what because we remember we were in the pits when there were no pits. <laughs> yeah, it was okay. it was Go a ahead. different world. I mean, absolutely yeah. different world. All right, I'm going to shut down. Come back up. I have so much to share with the listeners. So uh, yeah. this doesn't happen. Well, if we don't, you know, have, we're going to get you on. We'll I'll, get you on next week if we can't get you on today. So let's keep trying, folks. All right, I'm going right. to come back on. Take care. You got it, brother. All right, let's see how much time we got. A minute and a half here, and let's get this thing going. I was really looking forward to seeing what Joe has because he's got some really spectacular stuff to uh, to look at, and I I'm very very impressed with the type of thing that he does. I can't stress enough about how important it is that we do not go below that uh, 4435 today. We're 4452 right now, I believe. But if we get below that 4435 today, which is the 61% retracement after we had a 382 rally up there at 4459, uh, uh, that's that's not going to be good, folks. That just tells you the market. And then, of course, Apple has held up relatively well, given the other stuff. But and remember, China is. They said I don't know what the ruling was, but you know they said their their main dudes couldn't use the iPhones. But if the main dude dudes can't use it, little dudes can't use it, and eventually that'll cause trade deficits and all the other stuff that the fundamental guys fundamental guys think about that. I don't have any time for because I don't understand the fundamentals and that's a, a real blessing in my thing because I don't know how to do one thing and that's A, B equals C, D and uh, it's, a, it's a nice little tool. It might not work all the time but it works a lot of the time and therein lies the rub. So we'll take a break here. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Call, call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Hey folks, uh, I don't think we're going to have Joe on today. It doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to have to make some stuff up as we go along here. Anyway, well, Larry, we've got a, think, uh, you've got it working. I think Allison is working. Okay, let's let's hit the bricks. I'm ready. I mean, uh, uh, can you see the? What's we're on ready. The yes, we're looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Oh yes. my God, we're not going to do the walk down memory lane anymore. That's too bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm. I'm just going to go slow, and if, if if I don't get through what I want to get through, then, you know, uh, just get me on next week, and we'll just do this some more. Okay. Um, yeah, you bet. All right, so I wasn't on when we had that baboon's rear end of a low, the most unmistakable low probably of my trading career in October sure. last year. Okay, so that's uh, – I wasn't on then, then. To share that with you listeners. I was also not on to share the um, the likely reaction back off that low. And uh, that is defined by something called the bread and butter pattern. And that bread and butter pattern is described in chapter six of trading with Napoli Levins. That along with six other patterns. And this bread and butter is just, it's just deadly. Now we're gonna go we're gonna go over that because it's it's the most critical thing I want to talk about today because you know, rather than rather than talk about a short term um, a, a short term number on a 60 minute uh, chart, we're going to talk about a large quarterly number or monthly number, and this this is just so important. And, and I mean, it's it's absolutely critical. So let's go through this pattern. What what the pattern requires is uh, significant thrust, most of which would be above the three by three displaced moving average. That would be the three. Yeah, three-day displaced moving average. It's moving over three days, and it's actually period, not days. It can work on a five-minute chart, a one-minute chart, and work on a yearly chart. And what happens with this pattern is that when you break down below the three by three, you normally get a total of three three periods. In this case, let's say three months or three quarters. You'll find a low, and that's exactly what happened on the October on the October low. Um, and then from that point. The likely exit is a 0.618 retracement of that previous download. Now, what you listeners need to understand is that this pattern was made and was created by me in 1985. 
Okay, now let's look at the current action in the NASDAQ. We had the three by three, which is the blue line, that contained the thrust. We went right up to the high. We came down to the October low, three days below the three, or three quarters below the, uh, below the three by three. We then turned around and rallied. And I was not here for the October low. I was not here when we hit uh, 143.67, but I am here now. And this is the exact pattern. Now, what do we do now? That's the important thing. And the number that has to be watched, this is on a long-term basis, is this 143.67. That absolutely must hold. That sucker needs to hold. That is the bottom line. Now, if you go under there for a few seconds or a few minutes or even a day, and then you climb back above it, it doesn't mean you did it. What I'm talking about is that number, you need to get below that number before this market is bearish, and you need to stay below that number. And for those people who think, oh, well, you know, once it goes below that number, it's gone too far, not a chance. I'll show you where I think this thing's going. Now, that's the number on the quarterly NASDAQ. Let's take a look at the exact same picture. The, three, the uh, bread and butter trade, we came up to the uh, 0.618 retracement. We surpassed it. Now, let's go back to the pattern. See that? Even on the pattern that was in the book, okay, again, developed in 1985, that shows that we can exceed the exit point or the objective point. Now, we need to stay above that 4309 level. If we get below that 4309 and we can stay below that thing for a little while, this market is done like yesterday's toast. Now, um, we're not going to talk about political stuff. It's not allowed here, and I'll, I'm good with that. <laughs> Bottom line is I'm 80% in cash, and a lot of the reason I am 80% in cash is for political reasons. Russia, China, various political reasons. And I'm worried that we're going to have a 1987-style event. And uh, if this happens, uh, I don't want to own stocks. I do not want to own stocks. I was trading the day that that happened in 1987. We had a 40 point discount on the S&P cash to futures. Yeah. And I'm, I'm worried that that's going to happen. So if, if people want to hear about views that we are, are not able to, to discuss here, they can email me at twdl at trader.com. I'll send you a letter I did about three weeks ago. Now, um, additional risks. We have extraordinary liquidity risk, overvaluation risks, inflation and debt risk. We have three bubbles. Two are popping, that's real estate and equities, and one has popped, that's the bond market. So when you put all these risks together, you know, Larry, what people don't understand is this, this, this trading game really is not about buying uh, Microsoft at 8 and selling it at 800. What this trading game is about is valuation of risk. And there is incredible risk out there. Enough so that I have had 70% of my money in cash since September of 2021. And, uh, you know, we're talking, we're making over 5% now. So um, the other 30%, now 20%, because I've, I've cut it back even more. Normally, uh, in my last show, uh, it was on September 1st, I talk about having a whole bunch of orders in the market at key Fibonacci levels, uh, key levels that I developed for various stocks. Okay, this is what my accounts normally look like. I'll have 40, 50, 60 orders in there at, at key levels. Okay, now this is what it looks like. And this isn't even current. This is back about a month and a half ago. I've, I've got even fewer orders in the market now, and that's because I don't want to get caught. I've been caught before. I don't like being caught. So. I, I have far fewer orders in the market. I'm very, very cautious. Now, um, what are we looking at here? This is the projection. If we get below that 0.618 level, whether it's the NASDAQ or the S&P, if we get below that level, uh, the likely spot for me is down where that little red line is. I'm going to give you the exact number because that's the 0.382 retracement all the way back to the 666 low that we had at uh, in the end of 2008. Um, wow. I think it was March 2009. Yeah, that 0.618 level. And, yeah. and we have an expansion down, what we call an OP expansion down, and that's just above it. And uh, that expansion is uh, clearly marked on this chart. This is a quarterly chart, long-term stuff. Now, I'm going to go to a, uh, 
an expanded view on this. And your number, your support number is between 3225 and 3328. This is where I think the mark is going minimal, absolute minimal. All right, now let's go back up. I think we also have a very high probability of it going down to 25, 2520. That's the actual the expansion. <clears throat> so those, those are the numbers I'm looking at long term. If somehow, by some miracle, this market decides to go up, okay, it's gonna, by the way, it's gonna go up without me. Adios, Marie, you know, <laughs> bye bye. I'm not interested. All right, if this sucker goes up, uh, the next place I'm going to be putting on heavy shorts are 5129. Listen, we got to pay a few bills. Stay with us, folks. Joe DiNapoli is in the house. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movements you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back with Joe, Joe DiNapoli at the DiNapoli levels. I don't know what happened to the frog, but uh, he gained the... <laughs> Got at me too quick here. Why don't you continue on, Joe, please? Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you cough off of uh, <laughs> off of the audio. You know, Larry, one of the actually two of the great things about being on with you, other than you, of course, is that uh, number one, the audience understands Fibonacci. I don't have to, you know, explain all that to, to the audience. And uh, number two is I get some big name programs wanting to come on and say, uh, yeah, Mr. Dynapoli, we'll give you two minutes. 
here's two minutes. What the hell am I going to do with two minutes? You know, you know where you can put the two minutes because it's useless. Anyway, um, to get back to the point here, um, if by some miracle this market goes up, the next stopping point is uh, 5129 to 5130. And if it does get up there, man, I'm, I got a bunch of shorts on right now. Not a lot, because we're not below that 0.618 I talked about earlier, but um, if we get back up there, oh boy, I am going to get all over this thing. All right, so uh, let's talk about oil market projections. Now, this is an old chart, and uh, I don't know if uh, folks trade that much oil here, but uh, anyway, I had a very significant position. I'm going to talk about that in a little while, if I can get as far as my... It's talking about uh, the economy in China. I just got back from there. No political economy in China. Anyway, um, I got out of um, a large fund that I had at this 8132 level. So I'm using the oil market projections in order to trade the, uh, the funds. That fund wasn't totally oil, but it was commodities. And even though oil is up now around 86 or 87, last I looked, the fund never got back up to my exit point. Uh, so the thing I'm trying to point out to the listeners is that if you trade mutual funds, even those that trade at the end of the day, you can use these uh, these Fibonacci projections, XOPs and whatnot, uh, to, to actually trade in and out of, of funds. And uh, I do it all the time, and it absolutely works beautifully. All right, so let's talk about oil projections if some of the nightmare scenarios, which are very possible, come into play. And you can hear about them again if you want to uh, ask for that letter that I wrote and posted on my forums a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think minimum expectation for oil, if any of this stuff comes to pass, is 167. It would not surprise me if we get up to 231. And um, I think 334 is a bit high, but you know, it's all doable if things go awry. So, you know, God help you if you're long, if you're long equities and this comes to pass. Yeah. Let's talk about gold. I really like gold. The gold is the most manipulated. I think it's got, it's got to be one of the most manipulated commodities on the planet. And by the way, Larry, if you want to talk about um, Bitcoin, you know, in some future presentation, uh, we can. But I think that's next on the chopping block block for being manipulated, and I have some ideas about how it will be manipulated, but at any rate, um, we've got a, a, a gold COP, or OP rather, at uh, 2711, and it would not surprise me at all to see that projection uh, if some of the uh, bad scenarios that I, I believe will happen actually do happen. Um, I'm going to give a short advertisement here. We're going to extend this $99 offer for a $162 book. And um, if you want that, just type in our, into our order form, fibtrader.com. We're going to take you to the order form. Type in Tommy, $99. You get the book, free shipping in the United States, 45 outside the United States. You get 60 days in the form. And you get access to one of the best people to do this work that exists on the planet. That's Peter Van White. He's one of my guys. He's in South Africa, and he's right on top of things. You get 30 days access to that. Uh, you've got until September 11th to make that happen at uh, midnight. All right, I don't want to belabor the point. I want to get down to um, more important stuff here. Uh, I had a very large response from my last, my last uh, point at, you know, on the show you know, on September 1st, and uh, I had a lot I had a lot of questions, and these are some of the best questions, but they were too long to answer by email. So I shot back a response to the folks that I asked them, and I said, look, I'll do my best to cover it on the next, um, on the next appearance on, on Larry's show. So people wanted to know, they knew I was long China, and I had a big position in China. And they knew I was long China, and they wanted to know what the hell I did with that position. And uh, the answer was I took a loss. I took... It wasn't a big loss, but it was a significant loss. It got my attention because the sizing was so big. I had a big position. And uh, so what happened to it? Well, when we were unable to um, sell Russian stocks because of the sanctions, uh, I saw that the same thing might happen 
to my China position. And so uh, I, I decided China was absolutely uninvestable and I eliminated about 95% of my position. And God bless the market. You know, sometimes you have a gift from heaven. And when, you know, they, uh, they stopped the, uh, the COVID restrictions over there and they opened up, we had a beautiful rally. And I got out within about 4% of the top of that rally. So at that point, I said adios to my China position, but I'm still, you know, I'm still bullish China. So what do I do? Well, China's not going to go up unless oil goes up. So in my September 1st presentation on this channel, I showed you where I, I did a small oil trade in it was an ETN, I believe. At the same time, I also entered a, a, a very large commodity position where oil was about 70 or 80 percent of the of the fund. It's PCRIX, any of you are interested. A, I really like that. ETF? Is it ETF, Joe? Am I, uh, are we waiting or can I keep No, going? no, that, that ETF that you said with the oil position, is that an ETF that you're dealing with there? Yeah, I'm out of it now because I got out okay. and the oil hit that 81 area. But to, to the quote, it's a, it's a PIMCO fund, it's PCRIX. And I traded that thing for probably 10 or 12 years. It gives you a dividend, and it's it's not just oil, but it's about 70% oil. People should check it out. It's kind of a weird fund, and I'm certainly not recommending it. I'm not recommending anything. This is educational. But that's what I was trading. And I got when I got out of my China position, I jumped into one and a half times. So for every $100 I had in China, I bought $150 worth of this stuff. And I managed to get back the loss that I had in China, and, and then some. So that's what happened to my China position. It is absolutely uninvestable now. I was just in China, and I was in all. I was in the manufacturing the city of Guangzhou. I was in um, uh, where the hell else was I? I was in Shanghai. I was in Beijing. I just you go to Hangzhou. Yes, that's my favorite you're city. There? Is Hangzhou? Yeah. Am I okay? Yeah, you're great. You got 48 okay. seconds before the next break, so right. keep going. All right, all right, all right. So anyway, I was just in the manufacturing city of Guangzhou. I was in Shanghai. I was also in uh, Beijing, the political capital. And, you know, we hear all this negative stuff about China. But, I mean, feet on the ground. Now, I've been doing business over there since 2003. I've been okay. doing presentations over there. We've got to we got there. We got to pay a few bills. Stay with us. We'll be back with Joe DiNapoli, folks. DiNapoli level. Stay with us. Got to spend You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level introducing tom o'brien's award-winning newsletter market insights your key to successful active trading tom o'brien renowned for his expertise in the financial markets has designed market insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades tom publishes his daily market insights newsletter every market day before the market open along with updates when warranted Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand.
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mr. Joe DiNapoli still in the house. Please continue, Joe. You still got that? You still got that frog, don't you? Yeah, no, it comes and goes. It, it you remember the days when I used to sing with Frank and Dino? It, it too much, <laughs> too much, too much was on and played. You know, so. Yeah, I, re I remember those days. Yeah, it was just like yesterday. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're watching China. Man. I don't think I can talk that one, Larry. Uh, uh, sure, you can. <laughs> okay, China. Um, we are getting some of the most. Ne okay, so my position's gone. It's uninvestable. I think I explained why. Actually, I still have a little bit here and there, but not much. Um, I was all over China here just like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. And the kind of people that I'm around when I go there, I'm, I'm around the entrepreneurial class. I'm not around government people, but I'm around the entrepreneurial class. And hey, it's still going. I mean, this is the most amazing country I think I've, I've been to. Oh. I don't know how many countries, 40 countries. It's, it's absolutely amazing in that place. I did you and, one better, uh, Joe. I'm sorry? I did you one better. I married one. <laughs> I know you you've did. Never, you've never met Sarah, but yes, she's from Hong Kong. Yeah, I met her on an airplane in uh, 80, I don't know, it was 90. Oh, God, it's right when Hong Kong was taken over. When we you, bought a place over there. You met her when you were 90? 97. No, I'm, I'm not. Won't be 90 till next year. No, I met her in in 1999. 99 is when I first met her. Then we got married in 07. But uh, anyway, keep going, my friend. I'm sorry to no, interrupt, I but lost, I just like. If I ever lost yeah. Patty, I'm telling you right now. You know, uh, I would yeah. be, I would be absolutely on my way to China or Thailand or whatever for a, for an Asian wife. But that's a, we can have a program on that someday. You know, we both have a lot of experience. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm involved with the entrepreneurial class over there, and they're still going. I mean, the China economy is not what it used to be, but it is still chugging along uh, quite well. Yeah. And so I, I really question what I'm seeing. One thing that's important is that when we had our, our property disaster in 2008, we, we had programs that uh, had no end of moral hazard attached to them. What's going on in China is they're, they're doing things that doesn't have that moral hazard attached. In other words, if somebody made the wrong move, if somebody was worth you know $100 billion, they were zero. They're not getting bailed out. They're getting crushed, absolutely crushed. Yeah. And, and what they're doing over there is they're, they're doing the, the best they can to protect the investors. But I don't want to go any yeah. further with that. All I want to do is say that you know, all this negative stuff about China is not nearly as negative yeah. as you might think. And uh, that's just from my feet on the ground. Of course, the people I'm going to run into over there, uh, I mean, I'm treated like some kind of god. It's, it's almost embarrassing. You know, I don't like that. But, but that's the way yeah, I treat Yeah, I, I know you don't there. like it, Joe. I, I could tell just the one time I saw it, how you cried after it was all over. <laughs> <laughs> Me a break. Okay, so... <laughs> So what happened to my commodity position? Um, well, I think I explained that earlier. I really jumped in very heavy, heavy in the commodity area when oil when oil hit its lows, and then I I'm out I'm out. I still have some gold. I still have some platinum. I still have a few other things, um, some aluminum. 
you know, I still have some of that stuff kicking around. You gotta have something, you can't be totally short or out. So I do have some of that stuff left, um, but not a lot. Um, do I like long dead blondes? That was another question I got from the group uh, that, that had emailed me. And the answer is yes, I'm currently long, long dead blondes. Not a huge amount, but I'm gonna buy more as they go lower. Well, you know, like Warren Buffett says, he hopes that the price goes down and stuff that he's risked, he can buy more. Um, I do have a position in a couple of different accounts. It's in EDVDVZ, I don't know which one it is, but it's long, it's long dated bonds, it's a fund, and I find it uh, a lot, a lot easier to trade in the futures. What what you've got to realize out there in radio land or wherever you're listening, is that uh, you know, we got high lows, last, we got we got technical analysis, we got all this stuff, but what, what you need to realize is sizing. Sizing is so, so important. And it took me probably 20 years to figure that out. But uh, that's that's really where it's at. If you size properly, you can withstand some some drawdowns and you can you can do really well. Okay, the next one, Larry, you're gonna like this one. Um, are your Fib support resistance numbers the same as Larry's. Well, let's go back. Let's go back to memory lane a little bit here. Um, I had three mentors, and Larry was was my most in, influential um, mentor. There's no, no doubt about that. You know, he flashed the flashlight in the right place. And after he did that, then I took over. I did my own research, and I have come up with a a way of approaching Fibonacci, which is different, a bit different from Larry's, and it is substantially different from a lot of other people. In addition, I've come up with patterns. We have something called the MACD predictor, which maybe we can get into in a second show. But anyway, it's um, it's uh, it's a dynamite indicator of peak patterns, and um, uh, yeah, my numbers are different. We have things like revisits. We have things like. Um, Confluence agreement areas that are, are just incredible. We have uh, stuff. Um, uh, we have stuff that that is is not normally talked about. And the whole key with this Fibonacci stuff is getting the right numbers. You know, just, you know getting all the possible numbers, you go crazy. I mean, you can't do it. But yeah. you got to get the right numbers. And also, you know, to have automatic software that's going to show you the Fibonacci levels. I mean, I hope I'm not. I'm not. Going to hurt somebody that advertises, and it's not my intention. But from no, my no, opinion, no. as long as you don't uh, talk politics, you're okay, Bubba. Okay, Bubba, we're not going to okay. talk politics. Um, uh, yeah, if you get that, if you get that automatic stuff. I mean, we've tried it. Other people have tried it. What you have to do is you have to understand. You have to understand where to put the A, Bs, and Cs. That's the key. That's the key issue here. You have to understand what reaction low is more important than another one. I mean, it's the same as you go in the bar. You know, lots of pretty girls, right? Well, maybe not. You've got to know which one is the prettiest and which one's going to do you some good. So that's the whole same thing with with a with a chart, and that's what we train when you when you get training from us. That's what we do. Now, let's let's talk about. Oh yeah, one more thing about Larry. You know, they they can hide, they can they, <laughs> they can lie, they can steal, but they cannot hide. That's this right. is one of the most important things I've ever heard about trading. It comes straight from Larry, and it is absolutely, it's the basis of technical analysis. They cannot hide. Uh, if somebody takes a huge position, you, you're gonna, it's going to be reflected. I mean, there's no, they can't hide. They can lie. They can steal. They cannot hide. Keep, write, that, write that in your forehead so you see it every time you look in the mirror. Because it's it's critical. And I learned that one from Larry. So um, <clears throat> last week we had a question. <clears throat> the question was about algos, and we didn't really have enough time to get through it. But I want to talk a little bit about algos because you know we're we're in battle with algos. We're in battle every day with them. I certainly am. Yep. And uh, the question I believe has something to to do with um, you know how do you how do you manage. Hey Joe. With the algos. Yes. We've got, a, we've got a pay a bit. Uh, we've got three a three minute segment coming after the break, so you're going to have that as soon as we come back. Two minutes, and you got three more minutes. Okay, after this. All right, see you. All right, see you later. We'll be right back, folks. Joe De Napoli, De Napoli levels.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movements you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Joe DiNapoli. DiNapoli Levels, you got three minutes, my friend, and plus next week we'll have you on. So fire away on the algos. I'm really interested in this. Yeah, um, I, I actually don't think we're going to have enough time to adequately cover this, but we can get started and you, and you get an idea okay. of what my thinking is. So, um, first of all, with the algos, I did a huge amount of study with, about this problem. And the reason why is because my best years, I think my best years in my entire trading career were 2006, 7, and 8. And it wasn't just that I was short. I was predominance of those trades were long trades. I mean, can you imagine that? I showed last week on September 1st show how, you know, I, I, I nailed 300% in less than a day. It's just under 300%. And that was a long side trade during 2008. So um, what happened was that when we hit 2009, I stopped making money. I mean, I wasn't losing money. I was. I was losing money and I was making money. I was losing money and I was making money. And what the hell's going on here? I mean, prior to the financial crisis, I was doing okay. But subsequent to the financial crisis, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. So I obviously knew something wrong. I couldn't figure out what it was. Then, I, uh, reading some articles and doing some research, I found out that in some stocks, 90, 80 to 90% of the trading was being done by computers. I yeah. said, Jesus, what the hell's going on here? So I did more and more research, and I thought back to the early 2000s when I actually trained people that were programmers 
for, uh, not to talk about who they were programmers for, but they were interested in programming uh, some of my stuff so that they could automatically trade. And I told them, you know, it's not gonna work because, uh, you know, there are variations that require um, understanding of the market. I don't think we can program them. They said they were gonna give it a try. I said, Joe, you know, and I didn't see the results of this. And then, of course, March of, of, of 2009 comes around, the market changes. Now, maybe gross market movements don't change, but intraday in particular, and the ability to get bills was, was entirely changed. Joe. And the first, yes. Uh, time is up, my friend. We'll have you on next week, okay? Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.